Hey, my name is Steve Martelli, founder of Freedom Education. Okay, so I hadn't planned to create a video today, but someone asked a really good question on the 7-day manifestation experiment that I just knew was important to share with you. Okay, so the question was this. When I'm visualizing, what happens is the first day I visualize, I'm just feeling like, you know, it's this cup of coffee showing up or this date or someone's going to call me or whatever it is, whatever you pick to do. And I'm visualizing it for two, three minutes and it feels fabulous. Then the next day, either I visualize it or just during the day, I start to get these doubts. Is it going to show up? Is it going to show up for me? And I start to worry if it's going to show up, which you, as you know, pushes it away from you, right? Because it's all about frequency. So if you feel as if you have it now, boom, you're lining up, 95.7 FM, boom, stuff's showing up. And then you start to worry, it's like, oh, uh, it starts to go away, right? So the question was, you know, why is this happening and how can I avoid it and all that stuff, right? Great question. Okay, so the important part of this is to remember is that your head or your brain is a, is a filter, okay? And anytime you put something through the filter, it really limits what's possible to you. So let me explain why I said that. So this filter, your brain, what happens is when you start to think about the outcome that you have in a disempowering way, in other words, you don't have it, and it might not even be conscious, it could be automatic and unconscious because you have limiting beliefs about that thing showing up. As an example, maybe you're looking for a $100 check to show up and you never got a $100 check before. It's never happened. So it's never happened. So for you, for to showing up a $100 check in the next seven days, eh, I don't know if it's going to show up, right? It's, there's a lot of doubts there. There's a lot of concern. It's like, is it going to show up? Maybe you really need the money. Who knows? The point is this. When you're in your head, you're in conditioning. And when you're in conditioning, you're in your limiting beliefs, okay? If you're in your limiting beliefs, what does that mean? You're coming from the past. And if you've never done this in before then you're coming from the limited portion of you, right? This is my point. If you visualize and you're getting these doubts, it's because of either one or two reasons. One, when you visualize this, you know, this self-talk in your head starts to chatter, the chatter starts to go, and the chatter's going and saying, are you crazy? This is never gonna show up. You want a hundred dollar check? Are you crazy? It's never gonna show up. So this thing's going on in your head, right? Which means you're coming from conditioning, and conditioning's from the past. Okay, you're conditioning everything that your limiting beliefs and everything that you've been programmed to do up to this point in your life, regardless if you were the one that put it in your programming or not, is from the past. And when you come from the past, then you're limited to what has happened in the past. And if you've never got a hundred dollar check before, then odds are it probably won't show up. Which is why I'm very specific about you picking outcomes or manifestations that are at least an eight out of ten believability to you. Okay, at least an eight out of 10. Why? Because if you pick something that's a seven or a six, what happens is you get resistance. You start to come from conditioning. And if you're coming from conditioning, what happens? You're coming from the past. And if it hasn't happened in the past, probably won't happen in the future. So you want to pick, that's the first rule of thumb is you want to pick outcomes that are eight out of 10 believability. So go back and look. If the thing that you were look, you know, you're looking to manifest was not an eight out of 10, that you were confident 8 out of 10 that it would show up for you, then you want to go back and re-rate yourself. Were you really an 8 out of 10? Maybe pick something that's a 9, that's a closer to believability to you. That's the first thing. The second thing is, this is a more advanced concept, is that during the day, if you start to get self-doubts, it's because you're in your head. When you're like, Steve, what do you mean I'm in my head? Of course I'm in my head. I have this voice, it talks, it's probably saying this stuff to you right now, like what the hell is this Steve guy talking about? That little voice is your conditioning. And there's only really one or two places you can come from at any moment in time. You're either in conditioning, which means you're in your head, you're listening to that voice, and in some cases you're doing what the voice says, or you're in your body. And when you're in your body, you're in the moment. So if you're in the moment, what happens is conditioning doesn't really play a role. Okay? So you're either in your body or in conditioning. It's a more advanced topic, and I'm going to talk about the live teleclass, but the point is this, if you visualize something as, you know, and the next day you visualize, or you're just walking around, all of a sudden you start getting all these doubts, it's because you have limiting beliefs and limiting conditioning about that outcome showing up in your life. And especially if you pick something around money 
and you feel that limitation and you feel those doubts and worries, absolutely have a limiting belief about it. So the best advice I can give to you now, one, is to pick something that's more higher on the believability scale for you. What happens is when you do that, less resistance, less of conditioning. Conditioning doesn't become as much of an issue. The second thing I would recommend is that you get on this live teleclass with us. Why? Because then we'll work on the second part. So let's let you say you pick something that's a 7 or an 8 out of 10 for you and it's still not showing up. You've got a lot of resistance around that. And for money, a lot of people have a lot of resistance when it comes to money. So what do you do? You need to let go of that resistance. And in the live teleclasses, I'm actually going to take you through two different letting go processes so you can let go of those limiting beliefs. Very, very powerful. So as you're aware, a live teleclass uh, to Manifesting Mastery is open. Registration is open as of now. So if you click the link below, you can get entered and register for the program. Again, I thought that you really need to know this because you know when you are working with your beliefs, it's a very subtle thing. But at the same time, you got to be careful that you pick things that are working with your current belief systems because they're your belief systems and your beliefs are what precede reality. So again, if you're coming from conditioning and you're in your head, you got to pick stuff that's believable to you. So maybe pick something 8.5, 9 out of 10 that's believable to you. It can work with an 8 out of 10, but you just got to work with your internal gauge and be like, okay, well, was that an 8 out of 10 or was it a 7? It's a very subtle thing. And if you pick things that are a little bit sort of not as believable to you, you're just like, it's kind of goes or expands what's possible for you. Then what happens is, especially if you picked an outcome that you want to manifest around money, what happens is resistance shoots right up and it's your conditioning. That resistance is your conditioning. It's those limiting beliefs from the past. And as soon as that happens, what happens? You get stuff, you're coming from the past, so you're going to get the same stuff that you got in the past. So that's the key to making this work. I hope that serves you. Again, live teleclass is open. If you want to join me and a bunch of others, click the link below. Thanks for listening and watching. My name is Steve Martelli, and I'll talk to you real soon.